Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. Today we will look at a report that demonstrates some capabilities of the script in fastreport.net. This is an interactive drill-down report that lets you expand and collapse the groups. The level of interactivity that you can see here is possible with the script. Let's examine how all of this works. Firstly, we'll look at the page configuration and then we'll look at the script. The databand is connected to the products table and sorts the products alphabetically. What we need from the table is the product name and the unit price. The products are grouped by their first letter. This total counts the products in the group. There are 5 products, and the total shows the number 5. This is the checkbox object that acts as a button. Its appearance is modified. The symbols are plus and minus instead of the default checkmark. The cursor changes the hand when it hovers above the object. And it has a border. What makes it interactive is the hyperlink. When we click the object, it passes the product's first letter, which acts as the ID for the group. And the script makes the group visible or invisible. So let's look at that script. There is a list that stores the first letters of the groups as strings. The before print event is called when the band is ready to be printed. In that moment, it's possible to modify it. So, every time a group is about to be printed, this happens. The program writes the first letter of the product's name into a variable. It's because we will be using it several times, and the variable's name is shorter and easier to read than this code. Then it checks, does the list contain this letter? If it is there, then this boolean variable will be true. And if it's true, then the databand and the footer are visible. Also, the checkbox will be set to unchecked state, and its unchecked symbol is minus. So, when we click the checkbox, it passes a letter. You can see it over here. But what does it do with it? Let's return to the code. The letter that we got from the checkbox is getting stored in the variable. Then the script checks if this letter is contained in the list. If it's there, it's getting removed. And if it's not, then it's getting added. This lets us use the checkbox to both hide and show the groups. After that, the report is getting refreshed. If we disable that, all the interactivity will be gone. So, let's make a modification to the script. For example, we want two buttons that open and close all the groups. Let's add two text objects that will be our buttons. They will be on a separate band. I will rename them. Set their text and change the font. They should also change the cursor to hand. Now I'll make them interactive. For each of them, we need a click event. I'll make a global boolean variable that will store if the groups should be open. The opening button will set it to true and the closing one to false. And they should also refresh the report. Now we need to do something if the variable is true. The easy way is just to do this. 
always make the groups visible if this variable is true. Let's see how this looks. As you can see, the open all button works just fine, but the checkboxes and the close all button don't. We need to do something a bit trickier. As you already know, the visibility of the groups depends on the list. If the group's first letter is there, it will be visible. We will add the group's letter to the list, if open all is true, and if the letter is not there already. This way, we won't have any duplicates in the list. Also, we should clear the list if we want to close all the groups. And also, we should reset the open all if the checkbox is clicked. At this point, everything should work without problems, but it does not. We are adding the group to the list, when the script has already decided that it isn't there. We should move this code to before the check is done. Now everything will work properly. So, now you know how you can create an interactive report like this one. This was today's lesson on the fastreport.net. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. In the description, you can find a link to the list of articles on FastReport.